Good afternoon, Badass Artists. I'm Mia Luyando, and today we are going to work on the Promised Pan Pastels. So, let me tell you what I've got going on here. I ordered a set of just really cheap, uh, I think they were like $11 and change. Um, they're just little soft pastel sticks from Amazon, and I will put the description in uh, I'll put the link in the description below, as always. Um, and what I did, I've been kind of investigating this <laughs> since we talked about it a few months ago. What I found, um, well, let me back up again. I went to Amazon and I got these cute little containers. They look like this. And I think they're made for people who um, dabble with cosmetics or lip glosses or whatever and they're perfect um, what I did was I took this cute little mortar and pestle and I'll put the link below as well and I just crushed it up I crushed up the uh, pastel which we're gonna be doing today here in a minute and I don't know if this is gonna work I'm doing this as an experiment and if it works great we can do it and it'll save us some money on these pan pastels i crushed them up and then i added 70 percent rubbing alcohol now i watched several different videos on this some people said it only works with 70 percent i didn't try 50 or 90. some people said that 50 wasn't uh, strong enough to break up the pigments. Some people said 90% made it too muddy and runny. So I just, I didn't take the chance. I just grabbed 70%. I already had it in my medicine cabinet and I went for it. I also picked up this little dropper. I think it's like a one milliliter dropper. It was, you know, I don't know, a buck fifty, two dollars on Amazon. And I added, you know, I added the, uh, the alcohol to make a little paste. And that's what I got here. Now, it's still a little wet. And what I was gonna do, this is just a nail polish bottle, was just kind of push it down. Now, I tried to do this earlier and it was still too sticky. But I am I understand that it takes like 24 hours to actually dry. So we'll know tomorrow. Um, if this works or not, but I'll tell you, I was using the blue, even when it was still kind of, you know, kind of wet. And when I touched it, I really, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic about this. I didn't have enough to fill it all the way to the top. So maybe this was not the right container, but it was the only thing that I had at the time. Um, you know, I didn't know how much chalk of these little squares was gonna yield for me. And uh, you know, the whole thing's an experiment. So worst case scenario, it doesn't work. You guys watch me make a huge mess and we can all laugh about it later. Best case scenario, we can mix our own colors. And you know, I got, uh, how many did I get? Uh, a bunch. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna, gonna, am I gonna flip it over, yeah. I got 66 pieces. I got 66 pieces with this soft pastel set. And I think I paid 11 bucks and change for it. And yeah, some of them did spill, but that's okay. We're gonna get them out anyway. Um, so yeah, I mean, these little, they're just little tiny squares and they're super soft. I didn't have any problems crunching them up or anything like that. So I laid a piece of wax paper, just regular baking paper like what you keep in your kitchen to you'll see in a minute the the mess ensues and I would recommend if you don't like getting your fingers like super dirty put on a pair of little rubber gloves whether it's surgical gloves or kitchen gloves or whatever because the pigment really does dig in <laughs> so let's try one of these pretty pink colors now you don't need a mortar pestle, first of all. I just got it because I thought it was cute and I like little stuff like this. But I also tried the yellow. I did the yellow one with the back of a spoon. 
So, you know, they crush up pretty, pretty easily. So I just kind of, you know, went for it. And I realized pretty quickly that even though they look like they've been ground into a pretty nice powder, there's still a lot of little crunchy parts in there. But it, you know, it goes into a powder pretty quickly. And I just sort of take a little bit of extra time to really get it good and ground and get these out of the way. And see, it, it's, it's messy, but um, you know, that's okay. So then I just pour it out. And that's another thing, it likes to stick. The, um, the little plastic containers came with these little help spatulas. I was happy about that because they, they're, ha they're helpful getting the stuff out of mortar pestle. They're helpful scraping it up off of the wax paper. It's helpful. It's just they're helpful across the board. So yeah, I was glad. If you don't have these sitting around, um, a small spoon. I had a, a little pink spoon that came with some coffee sweetener and that that worked pretty good too. So in my experience with the other three, see there's a kind of a big chunk still. It's like even though you think you've got it all chopped up in there, there's always a little rogue, little rogue spot. So with the others, I noticed that one dropper full, like one milliliter, wasn't quite enough to get it pasty. So I added two, and this is just for this size chalk. Everybody's is gonna be a little different, I understand that. You just kinda of wanna get it to a, you know, a pasty consistency. You don't want it too juicy but you don't want it, you know, you just, you kind of know when it feels right. And this is probably still a little too thick. But just mixing away, I'm gonna add a little bit more. And this is where this wax paper comes in so handy. I didn't want to mix them in the containers, but maybe I'll try one of those out, see how it does. Maybe it'll work a little better if it's actually already in the little container. But I got like 36 containers for less than $15. And you know, I figured we could afford to make some mistakes. I'm hoping, you know, that this is something that'll work. I think that's a pretty good consistency there. Now I'm going to just open this empty container and start to spoon this in. And you know, like I said before, it might work and we might have just had a really messy experiment. And that's okay too. I'm happy to to do these things so that you guys don't have to. If it works, awesome. You know, we have uh, we have a new a new way to make art supplies. But right now it's way too sticky, you know, to tap it down and make it flat so that we can go over with our sponge. Um, but when this does dry, this should, you know, be we should be able to, you know, get product on our Q-tips or sponges or whatever we're using, um, you know, and put it right on the paper. That's the plan. So I'm going to set this to the side and I'm going to grab another color, but I have a dirty <laughs> mortar pestle. So I'm going to pick a similar color because I don't really feel like going to the sink and washing the whole thing out right now. I'm going to grab a purple color or no, let's do Let's do fuchsia. It's pretty similar. And let's see. They, some of them, you know, I noticed that the red um, kind of crushed up 
or I'm sorry, the blue kind of crushed up easier than the reds and the pink. And the yellow was just sort of in the middle. I don't know if it's the pigments are softer. It's kind of the same, you know, with our pencils. Some sort of seem softer than others. And of course, you know, you can mix colors. You can, um, they sent me like two, two whites and two blacks so that you can, um, I don't wanna make that too juicy there. Uh -oh. So you can lighten and darken as you see fit. So I'm gonna set that aside. just right off the bat but it's really kind of a you know you just sort of mix it until you feel like you've got the right consistency there's no right or wrong here there's no recipe as of yet we're just kind of experimenting with this really close color to the first one. Now you guys, I'm just doing this quickly for the sake of, you know, time on the video. You guys can, if you decide to, you know, go ahead, press forward, you can't wait. I, I understand. I'm, I'm impatient too. I have to press on. Um, you know, take your time, crush it up two or three times. I still have a lot of little, little, you know, tough spots in here. And I might have gotten this one a little bit too juicy, but that's okay. You know, we're, we're experimenting. Um, just remember, if this stains, it will stain your hands. It will stain your stuff. So I use Dawn dishwashing liquid to get the stuff off of my um, mortar and pestle. And, um, you know, when you're doing it yourself, that's the point I was trying to make. You can take your time and, um, you know, just experiment with different consistencies. If you want to experiment with the other um, alcohol, you know, if you want to try the 50% or the 90%, go for it. Let me know how that works out. I just, um, I saw several different videos saying that, you know, one just wasn't strong enough, one was too strong. And I thought, well, let's not take the chance. Let's just, you know, go, go for the 70% because I already have it. And yeah, this one's a little more juicy, but it might dry out better. We will find out. So I'm going to try to make it kind of, kind of level in there. But. in the screen so you can see sorry about that so that's those are the two pinks that we did today they're pretty close so I'm gonna set them to the side and let them dry overnight and we will come back on well it will be Friday for you guys it's Wednesday today or Wednesday when I'm posting this video we will let them dry and I will immediately check it out and start the video in the morning and um, give an update as to how this worked. I know we've been waiting. We've been waiting to do this for, well, I've been searching to see if this was even possible. And I thought it has to be possible if we can, you know, if we can, um, you know, grind this up and pick it up like this and actually you know, color with the sponge right on wax paper, we can certainly make this some sort of, um, you know, a solid consistency. And, you know, it's, that's just so easy to take that powder. And if we can do that, then we can dry this stuff in a way that we can 
transport it. We can move it around. We can pack it up with our other supplies and do something with it. You know, these are super cute. Um, the little lids, you know, it's just, oh, pay no attention to my bruise. I had a procedure on Monday and it required an IV and I, I think it might have been the first time this poor girl ever ran an IV because she, <laughs> she, she bruised my arm up. But see how, see how cute and easy that is, you know, just to pop it in your art bag or whatever and that way you don't have to take a whole set of pencils if you don't want to. You know, it's easy, easy to work on backgrounds, easy to, um, you know, fill in larger areas. And, you know, I'm gonna take the lids back off because I want them to dry. Um, but you know, I think, I think we might be onto something. We'll find out. Okay, I am going to end the video there. I've got a mess to clean up here. If you guys wanna wait and see how this all turns out, and let me be the one that's messy, absolutely. That's why I do these videos. I want to uh, find out what works and what doesn't. This one didn't have quite as much alcohol in it. This one had a little bit more. So we're gonna find out about the consistency. Do we need more? Do we need less? What are we gonna do? I'm excited. I will see you guys on Friday with the results of this crazy experiment. Okay, guys, I hope everybody's having a great day, and I will see you soon.